Hello beautiful human and welcome to Abundant Yoga. I'm Tiff and today we will be looking into pain behind the knee during yoga, especially the pain that you might experience when practicing forward folds like Paschimottanasana or an Uttanasana, any sort of forward fold where suddenly as you go deeper into it you feel this extreme pain behind the knee. So hop into something comfy and let's look into what may be causing this issue. So we're going to start out with a quick anatomy lesson, but I'll keep it short because that's not what you're here for. Right. So often when we're doing forward folds, right, the intention is to stretch the hamstrings. Now, your hamstrings run from your hip to your knee, no further. So when you are flexing your feet to get a deep hamstring stretch, you're not actually stretching your hamstring. What? Mind blown. Along the same route down your leg runs your sciatic nerve. So your sciatic nerve is running from approximately your lower back all the way to your heel. Now, if you think about that, this means that when you point your foot, you're loosening up the tension on your sciatic nerve. But when you're flexing your foot, you're creating a greater distance between your lower back and the heel of your foot, thus lengthening your sciatic nerve. So with this in mind, when you are doing a forward fold, like a Paschimottanasana, and you flex your feet and you feel this pain right here behind your knee, that's because you're aggravating your sciatic nerve. Who knew? With this in mind, now that you know what's causing this discomfort, you have to understand that your nerves are not to be treated like muscles. If you're just looking at your muscle stretch here, right, your muscles can take a deep stretch for a solid 30 to 60 seconds to lengthen. But your nerves, on the other hand, do not want that sort of treatment. They want to be gently warmed up into the right state to relax. In other words, if you try to treat your nerve like a muscle, your nerve's gonna go, hell no, and hold you back, and that's gonna hold back your flexibility. What do we do if when we're going into a deep forward fold, our nerve goes, no, 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 I'm not ready for you. We do nerve vibes. You're gonna bring yourself onto your back body. And this is an exercise that you can do before your yoga practice. So if you are practicing at a studio, you can give yourself five extra minutes beforehand. And if you're practicing at home, same thing applies. Just do this little exercise, just sort of gently say hello to your nerves, your sciatic nerve, and say, hey, I don't mean to hurt you, we're just going to wake you up a bit. So let's get started. You want to start on, in, on your back body and just relax your feet. Right. I'm going to bring my right leg up as I inhale in a pointed position and slowly stretch it right to my edge. Now this, for me, doesn't I feel no pain whatsoever behind the knee? But you may find, and but I'm also high, almost hyperextending. So you may find that you want a slight micro bend here as you point. As you exhale, flex and bend your knee. Good job. Inhale, point and lengthen. Exhale. Bend and flex. We're going to do this eight more times on this side. So inhale, point 
point and lengthen. Exhale, bend and flex. Inhale, point, lengthen. Exhale, bend and flex. Inhale, point and lengthen. Exhale, bend and flex. Just a few more times. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. You may find that, that you want to do a slight tucking of the tailbone so that your lower back is not arched away from the ground. Good job. Feel like we might have done 10. <laughs> Good. Okay. So now we've said hello to our sciatic nerve in my right leg, or in our right legs. And we're just going to do the same exercise in the left. So inhale, lengthen, pointing. Exhale, bend, flex. Inhale, lengthen, pointing. Exhale, bend, flex. Inhale, lengthen, point. Exhale, bending, flexing. Inhale, pointed foot. Exhale, flex your foot. Inhale, pointing and lengthening. Exhale, bend. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. I lied last time. Inhale. And exhale. And then you can do a little shimmy of those ankles. Just be gentle with your ankles. And I'm going to roll myself back up to see how my Pashimottanasana feels now. If you want, you can repeat that exercise again on both legs, but I'm pretty warm, so I'm just going to test out my Pashimottanasana now, my seated forward fold. So I'm going to lengthen myself up from my hips, gentle tucking of my tailbone, lengthen myself up. I'm going to reach my hands to the sky, feeling my shoulders over my hips, and slowly release myself down into my forward fold. You can see here, I'm flexing my feet just so that I really can avoid any, any sensation of the sciatic nerve. That felt so much better. So just to be clear, this quick deep dive was not a lesson on how to do a Paschimottanasana or a seated forward fold. It was really just to experiment with the sensation or the difference in sensation when one adds in the nerve glides to you know, open up and, and gent gently say hello to our sciat sciatic nerve to open up our flexibility in our forward folds. I hope you enjoyed today's quick little class and if you're interested in more knee related yoga stuff or knee related yoga classes then you'll want to look at this video where we do a whole yoga sequence 50 minutes of yoga building up strength around the knee which is great if you're trying to recover from a knee injury or prevent one, which is the preferable option. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any comments and if this helped you in any way, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, then like it and subscribe to our channel. 
because we always have some new and interesting tips on how to do better yoga. And if you want even more, look out for our upcoming Yoga for Absolute Beginners, where we'll be delving into an eight-week course that builds up your strength as a brand new yogi. It really is just an opportunity for you to feel like you're not swimming in shark infested waters when you go to a yoga studio. So if you want to know more about this, click on the link below, it's in the description, and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you and namaste.